today I'm going to be showing you how to code in a new FRM2 module. This is the first time I'm doing this. So <clears throat> I'm going to go along the ways and try to figure it out. I already got some help from the forum members and Beamer Geeks Pro Tool Facebook page. So I'm going to go ahead and follow their instructions and see if it works. And if it does, you guys will see all of that. And at the end of the video, I'll give a little step-by-step -step of exactly what was done. Okay, so first you need to, if you're changing out your FRM module, you got to do that. I've already done that. So we got our tablet here. We're going to go ahead and connect our KDKEN cable. We're going to open up our tablet and go to our app. You gotta have your ignition on first. Okay, what I was told, you go to your vehicle, vehicle order, <clears throat> edit. You don't want to change your build date to March 2007. Actions, save. Both locations, CAS and FRM. So it's saving the vehicle order or saving my build date. Sorry, the screen is really scratched up. Okay, operation successful. So now let's go back. That was incredibly easy, so I guess that's it. You'd see the cast. The cast is the same, nothing's been changed, but it has my vehicle order right there, it has all the options. Now let's check the FRM. And here we go, everything was copied in 10 seconds or even less. Hey guys, we got the VOs all copied over from the cast module to the FRM. So now, we have to default code the FRM. So from the main menu, we're gonna go to safety, FRM module. We're gonna go to coding and click default code. It's asking you for a backup or it's prompting you to save a backup. Now you wanna choose the vehicle order that you want to copy and default code to the footwell module. So the footwell, footwell module is blank right now so we're going to click the car access system or cas it's going to get the vehicle order and it's going to start coding the um, default coding the frm module and once this is done we should see our bin written on the frm module So once that window goes away, you want to make sure that your VIN was copied to the footwell module. So you're going to go under functions. We're still in that footwell module under safety from the main menu. You're going to click read VIN and your VIN should pop up. So once your FRM is reading your VIN, that's it. You're all done. Now, if you had stuff coded on your FRM module previously on your old FRM module, you're going to have to code all that stuff back in. So to wrap everything up, if you're watching the video and you're going to go out to do this to your car, here are the few simple steps you have to do. With your new FRM module installed, you're going to open up the Pro Tools app. You're going to go to vehicle, vehicle order, and you have to change your date to March 2007. So you go down here to edit. And then you're gonna click date. You're gonna click actions. You're gonna click save. And I'm not gonna go as far as to actually do it because I already did it. But once you click save, you're gonna click both locations, CAS and FRM. Not just CAS or not just FRM. If you just do CAS, then you have to go to the FRM module and do it separately. Just click save, both locations. And once that's saved, your CAS and your FRM will have the same VO. Now the final step, you have to default code your FRM. You're gonna go to safety from the main menu. You're gonna select FRM, 
I'm gonna go to coding, default code, and then you're gonna default code the car access system or CAS, VO and VIN over to the footwell module. So don't click footwell module, click CAS, CAS. And once you click CAS, it's gonna go through the cycle of copying the VO and then doing all the coding that it has to do. And then this window disappears. And at the very end, like I previously said, you make sure everything was done right, read your VIN. And once your VIN pops up, you're all done. You can start coding or do whatever you want. All right, guys, to add to the video real quick, once you default code your FRM module, if your VIN is still not showing up, then force close the app and try to read your VIN again. If it still doesn't read your VIN, then go ahead and go through the default coding process once again. And the same goes for the VO at the beginning. If your VO isn't copied over, then just go ahead and try it again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.